हाई स्टूडेंट आई मन सितिवरी टुडे इन द एलेवेंथ हिस्ट्री आवर फर्स्ट लेसन विच इज़ गोइंग ऑन फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग ऑफ टाइम टुडे इन द लेसन आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द डे इज एवोल्यूशन ऑफ द होमो सो स्टूडेंट वी विल सी हाउ द होमो हैज़ बीन डेवलप्ड एंड वाट वर द कंडीशन विच हेल्प्ड टू ग्रो द होमो इन दैट टाइम ऑल्सो सो वी विल सी द कंडीशन विच वॉज वेरी वेरी रिस्पॉन्सिबल सो स्टूडेंट लेट्स वी सी नंबर वन condition the glaciation glaciation means the condition the stage when the uh, earth have the time when the temperature was uh, going to be very decreased and this uh, condition led to the uh, start of the glaciation uh, glacier age glacier period so that time the whole earth was covered with the glaciers and whole the earth where the ice was found everywhere due to the lowering uh, lowering of the temperature and less of the rainfall say this condition has uh, led the possibilities of the grassland in the extinction and that uh, also is uh, covered in the forest areas so this condition were very responsible for the you will say uh, extinction of the australopithecus because australopithecus they were not very habitual to live in the drier conditions because these were the drier condition means there was now the possibilities of the water so less possibilities of the water the australopithecus had to uh, survive very uh, i will say forcefully so these uh, tough condition which uh, they had not supported to live a very longer period of time in the uh, i will say earth uh, in that time of the glacier period so this condition had a uh, Uh, introduced that hemo which were uh, very adaptable to live in the condition of a drier condition means when uh, in the very less of water and uh, grassland were uh, found in the earth in a large extinction so this condition had uh, made them to survive in the earth for a longer time so these species they were very habitual to live in the earth for a long period of time and that species became the earliest representative of genius homo that is the very important things which we have to discuss today and we will see what type of the homo had been found so homo is a greek word where the homo means the man and homo that is not the meaning that uh, there were only the men not the women because uh, they are uh, representing the whole you will say uh, homo uh, community or the homo uh you will say community so this uh, type of the homo has been derived uh, from the greek language where i have told the homo means the human and they were categorized into the three part uh, homo habilis homo erectus and homo sapiens where the homo habilis means the tool maker means uh, these people they had lived in that condition when the water was not very available and there were the very dire conditions so they had started to just uh, uh, make the tools and tool were the kind of uh, way to live them better conditions uh, because at that times they uh, hand uh, were going to be evolved and uh, their when their hand were going to be evolved so this condition uh, made them more uh, you will say uh, Uh, comfortable to live with the tools for a long time and the area where the homo habilis uh, were found in the ethiopia you can see well the ethiopia in the you will say eastern part of the africa and in the omo omo is a area in the ethiopia and older by george tanzania tanzania it is also at the south of uh, you will say ethiopia so these were the two areas where the homo habilis were found so you have to just make the click here and just put the place into the map of africa and then you can show your answer then homo erectus homo erectus were the kind of men who have started to walk on their foot means they had became the bipedalism movement means they became the uh, just walk on the foot only they had left their life as a quadruped because quadruped they were walking on their all legs uh, hand and legs so in such a way they became the upright men and uh, they also developed in the such condition which were the drier condition which was made after the glaciations that the things which you have to make in your mind very very carefully so the area where they were found 
Africa and Asia because uh, that is very important things uh, that uh, the homo they were developed in uh, Africa but some of the possibilities says that they also developed in Java but uh, it is the very major possibilities that uh, the homo they were firstly uh, evolved in the Africa only not in the Asia so these homo erectus they became the upright man and they were found in the Africa and Asia because there were the condition when the homo they had developed and they were walking they were moving they were migrating from the east africa to the north africa to the south africa and then then they were also moving towards the uh, south asia uh, north asia and then they also moved to the european countries also so these were the condition these condition were uh, found in the earth uh, may be possibly in the two Uh, million ago to 1.5 million year ago that is very important things which you have to keep in mind then the last homo they were the homo sapiens means this were the kind of the forefather of ourselves so they were the homo sapiens means the wise man and they were also found in some of the places these two places which we will discuss in our next video lecture because these two places we are there many of the condition their skulls and many of the other possible things we will discuss in the next video so student hope you are getting well all these things in our this video lecture and such condition which i have told you about the uh, introductions or the growth of or the evolution of the homo from the uh, age of glaciations and what were the condition before the glaciation what were the condition after the glaciation i have made all the possibilities to understand well so student thank you to listen me thank you to watching me and